I've had a lot of requests lately from my clients and from you, my wonderful viewers, about what to do if you just feel like your email inbox is out of control and you want to clear it. So this video begins a 10 part series on how to clean your email. We'll be covering part one, does your inbox bother you today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart and I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. I'm excited to start this 10 part series on how to clear your email. I have a lot of people come to me and they're excited about learning new tips and tools about being productive in their email, but often they already have a crazy inbox and they don't know how to get out from under it. So that's what we'll be covering for the next 10 videos. Today, we'll start with the simple question of, does your inbox bother you? Now, it may seem like if you're here, then the answer is yes, but let's talk this through. Does your inbox bother you? means if there's a lot of emails in there, does that give you a feeling of a pit in your stomach and you feel uncomfortable and you just want it to be clear and clean? Or is it a situation where your inbox doesn't really bother you with how many things are in there? It's more understanding how to keep track of the new things coming in. Those are two very different situations and we would handle them in two very different ways. Let me put up a few inboxes for you to kind of get your gut reaction to these. So here's our first email. You can see it's full. There's a lot of stuff. You have to keep scrolling. There's so much stuff in here. There's a lot of them that are unread. See what that makes you feel like. Is that something where you're like, eh, that's all right. I could get through that. Or you just feel overwhelmed already and it's not even your inbox. Now remember that feeling and we'll go to the next one. But the last inbox was Outlook. This one is Gmail. You can see here in the upper right corner, there's actually not that many emails in here, but it is a full screen to scroll through. And there's a lot of unread messages and there's a whole nother page with things on it. So for some of you, this will be ringing lots of bells, like urgent, urgent, we can't have this. And then for other people, it will be, okay, well, I just need to know how to deal with these unread messages. I don't mind that there's a couple different pages of emails. For those who are more comfortable with Yahoo, here's a Yahoo account. We scroll through, you can see the bar is pretty big, which means there's not a ton of emails. You scroll the, through this, depending on how much time you have in your day, you may or may not be able to get through that. You can see they're all almost all in red. So that might be overwhelming. But again, take notice, how do you feel? Are you squirmy, uncomfortable, or are you like, meh, this is no big deal, this is kind of boring. Lastly, we'll look at this Outlook online inbox, and you can see there's four emails, and they're all red, and one even has a category assigned to it, so it looks like these are potentially in process. Some of you are probably feeling some relief after seeing all the full inboxes. And some of you actually might be like, this is actually more distracting to me because there's not enough going on. And neither answer is wrong. Now that you have an idea of which side you are on with how you feel about your inbox, let's talk about the options. If you're someone who the inbox really didn't bother you when it was really busy, and sometimes you actually need some of that distraction going on, then you're someone who might use a little bit of the folders that we're going to talk about, but you might not use very many. You need to focus more on our later videos, probably number six and after. So you may want to check back in a few weeks, but it is good for you to know how to create the folders and you probably will want at least a few. The idea for you, if you're someone where the inbox doesn't really bother you, then you need to know how to manage the unread messages coming in so that you don't lose track of something and also how to track the items where something needs to be done with the email. Later in our video series, we'll be talking more about using stars and flags and task management and even how to process email effectively and productively. Those will be the key videos for you if your inbox doesn't really bother you when it gets really busy. 
If you're someone who had the pit in their stomach by seeing all the emails that were sitting in there, and some of you may have thousands, some of you may have tens of thousands, it's all doable. We will take care of it. But if you're someone who gets that pit in your stomach and you feel uncomfortable about it, you'll want to pay a lot of attention to the earlier videos that are going to talk about creating folders and then clearing out a lot of things from your inbox and moving them into folders. And then once you have that cleanup done and you can feel more comfortable about your inbox, you'll be able to also focus on the task management through maybe stars or flags and then how to effectively process your email. So that's it for this video. Make sure you've answered the question of, does your inbox bother you or not? And again, there's no wrong answer. In the next video, we'll talk about how to create the folders that can start to help you clear out your email. We won't go into a lot of detail in each and every email program because I don't want you to be here for an hour, but we will talk about the basics, some really basic steps through each of the programs, such as Gmail, Outlook, and Yahoo. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. You can also put questions there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with an answer. You can also give the video a thumbs up or you can share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And definitely be sure to click the subscribe button below. That's the red button below the video. Once you've done that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click the bell, then that will give you notifications each time a new video is posted. And if you want to follow this video series, I would highly recommend that you do that. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.